If you've ever wanted to travel to Egypt, today I'm taking you to Egypt in your own kitchen because we are going to be making the national dish of Egypt called koshari. Keep on watching this video and we're gonna go through the steps together. What's up everyone? Welcome to The Foreign Fork. My name is Alexandria and this is The Foreign Fork where we are cooking one meal from every country in the world. Today we are traveling to Egypt and we're gonna be making the Egyptian national dish, koshari. Koshari is a really fun dish. It's made with layering a lot of fun ingredients together, putting some tomato sauce on top. It's delicious and it's really fun to see the final product so I'm excited to show you how it's made. So the first thing that we're gonna to need to do is put together a little bit of a spice blend for this recipe. All right, to this bowl, we're gonna add one tablespoon of cumin, one tablespoon of chili powder, one tablespoon of paprika, one tablespoon of coriander, and a half tablespoon of nutmeg, and just a little bit of black pepper. I'd like to start off by saying that this recipe for koshari has a few differences in between the um, Egyptian way of making koshari. The way that I learned it, there are a few tweaks here and there that aren't necessarily the Egyptian way to make this recipe, but in the end, it all tastes the same. It's really delicious, but there, keep in mind that there are some tweaks. When you're making koshari, it's basically making a lot of separate ingredients that we're then gonna put together into one dish. So we have one cup of elbow macaroni, and I'm just gonna put that in a pot of boiling water and let it cook, um, stirring occasionally until the noodles are cooked all the way through. The next thing that we're gonna do is prepare the rice. So the way that we're gonna do this is by following the instructions on the rice package with a little bit of a tweak. You're gonna need one cup of uncooked medium grain white rice. And so the typical instructions for that is one part rice to two parts water. So I have two cups of water to one cup of medium grain white rice. And then I am going to mix up our spice blend here and put two tablespoons of this spice blend into the rice. This is one part that's a little bit different than the traditional way of cooking koshari. I do enjoy it because it really infuses the rice with flavor, but there are other ways to do this step as well. I am just gonna let this water come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, I'm going to reduce it to a simmer, put the lid onto the pot, and leave it for about 15 minutes until the rice absorbs all the water and becomes pretty fluffy. While our elbow macaroni and our rice is cooking, it's time to make the tomato sauce. So I have one 15 ounce can of tomato sauce that I'm gonna put in a saucepan or a pot. Either one works. To that I'm gonna add a half teaspoon of cinnamon and then the rest of the spice blend that we made. There is a whole lot of flavor in this sauce and you'll see why. It has to carry the flavor for the whole dish. And once you've mixed in all the spices, you're also gonna add two bay leaves. You're gonna leave this sauce on the stove uh, simmering for about 10 minutes. Make sure to stir it occasionally. And then when you're done, make sure that you remove the bay leaves so that nobody accidentally eats them. The last ingredient that we have to prepare is our fried onions. So for now, I'm going to put a pan on my hot plate and put some oil into the bottom of the pan and let it heat up while I'm slicing the rest of my onions. And I'm putting a thin layer of oil on the bottom. I'm using sunflower oil, but if you find it easier to use vegetable oil, you can also use that. I'm gonna take one onion, cut it into half, and then cut it into slices from there. And I'm gonna do pretty thin slices because we're gonna be making a crispy onion topping. Um, to go on top of the koshari. So the thinner the slices, the better they'll fry up and get crispy. I'm just using my hands to break up all of these slices so that we get individually sliced onions. And once they are ready and our oil is hot enough, I'm gonna take these onion slices and drop them in the oil. I'm going to remove the crispy onions to a paper towel lined plate and let the extra oil drip off of them. Once all of your ingredients are ready, all that's left to do is assemble. The first thing that you're gonna need to do is put the fried onions in the bottom of the bowl, and that way when you flip it over, there will be fried onions on top of the pile. And then um, lentils. Then on top of that, you're gonna put some chickpeas, then some of the tomato sauce, then you're gonna put the elbow macaroni noodles, and then finally, on top of the bowl, you're gonna put the rice. And look at that, a beautiful koshari, the national dish of Egypt. This recipe is so fun to make. I love stacking it all together and seeing the beautiful end result. Thank you so much for watching the video and for cooking alongside me. If you need the full written instructions for how to make this recipe, you can find them in the description below the video. And then don't forget to check out all of the other videos that I have on my YouTube channel there are national dishes from all around the world for you to check out and try so I know that there's something you're gonna love again thank you so much for watching put some culture in your kitchen this week and I will see you next week bye